Okay, so yes. we will uh, we will request Zach to start um, the discussion and over to you, Zach. Thank you very much, Bonte. So my question is, I've noticed that when I meditate, it makes me feel better. So it makes me feel more peaceful, happier, more joyous, and um, just sort of healthier. And I wonder, do you know why that happens? I know why it happens, but um, can I ask, uh, when you don't meditate, um, does it completely go completely go to the uh, uh, other extreme, or is it in the middle ground, or you are equally happy and joyful? Um, actually, by meditating, I have a greater access to joy and peace. Yeah. Uh, so, in other words, what you are saying is after meditation that drops uh no it does continue for a while after uh, yeah. but if i if i cease the practice then um i notice that i get grumpy yeah but um uh so what do you mean by ceasing the practice um when I'm not regular in my practice. So I try to meditate every day and I notice if I forget for two days, it's okay. But if I forget for three days, then my body reminds me by feeling grumpy. Yeah, you're feeling grumpy. Um, and uh, and uh, mm, you are not expressing it by word of mouth or action. Um, oh, that's not true. I, I do express my grumpiness. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so this is where, uh, it, it's very, very good observation. So in this process of say five days, um, do you consider that all the five days you have been mindful or you have not been mindful? Um, not so much. Uh, I object that. Okay, tell me more. Um, now, uh, I will now first go, go to the first question you asked. The first question you asked was, um, when you are meditating, you feel more joyous. The re reason for that is, uh, when you are in the practice, what you do is uh, literally you are coming out of the sensual world. And you are coming out of the sens sensual perception as well. You are staying with your meditation object or you are, stay you are staying with yourself. Right? So when you stay, stay with yourself, yeah. now the sense pleasure and sense, okay. sense, uh, sense perceptions. You said is conserved so much and wastes so much of energy. And you only when you meditate at least once, that gives you an opportunity uh, to, to, to see another alternative. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. So in that, in that alternative, uh, you have done the right, right um, comparison. And that comparison is done by your mind. And it says, when you're out of the sensual world, in your out of sensual perceptions, when you conserve your energy, you are more at peace and it is more joyful. And uh, the problem is now, uh, now you know the reason why, and it goes even further. And when you uh, go further, it may come to a point, uh, increased joy, uh, very, very intense joy. Right, so that happens when you give up the preliminary joy, if I may say so. So it's a, it's a process. So further you go, um, more of energy conserved, more energy conserved, uh, more wastage of energy stopped. 
So as a result, you become more and more at peace with you. Now there is a catch here. When you become more and more peaceful and joyful, uh, still the mind is having the basic tendency of liking and disliking. So yes. In, in, in your case, now, uh, although you are mindful that you are joyful when you meditate and for two, three days it continues and then you, you get grumpy and the word you use was, I feel grumpiness in myself. So, which means you, you see the start. You see the beginning of that grumpiness, and also you see uh, in certain cases where it is physically or verbally manifested as well. So, all this is knowing, all this is um, awakening, uh, uh, is mindfulness. You are awakening into the changing situation, but because of your liking towards um, that joyous uh, phenomena. Uh, subtle hatred is getting developed quietly uh, when it is changing. So, therefore, what you will have to start appreciating is not the fact that you are joyful. You will have to start appreciating the fact that you are more aware, more, more awakened into the things happening. So, if you start appreciating that, you will be happy about the fact that you are mindful. That will make you more happy than the happiness that you have, than the joy that you have, than the peace you will have. So there what happens is your joy itself will, will fluctuate, but you just maintain awareness um, in the whole spectrum, in the whole range. So in this case, in the current situation, your awareness is there, but uh, you appreciate more about the result than about the awareness. So that is my comment. So you are invited to attack. <laughs> so. um, well, you know, I, I, the, the, the concepts of simply becoming more aware is kind of ungraspable in a way <laughs> because it's 100% experiential and so you know it seems like my mind finds, finds any way possible to not experience but interpret you know, to try and interpret things rather than simply experience things. So I just, I just have a thousand and one different things coming to me. Well, how about this? How about the joy? How about the pain? How about, you know, <laughs> um, how about these strange mystical experiences? And they sort of try to, it feels like they, they try to tempt me and I fall yeah. for it every single time. Um, yeah. I suppose I just have to continue to experience and be aware of those things. Um, but it really seems necessary for me to do regular practice so that I don't forget, because it's quite incredible how quickly I forget to simply be aware. Right. So you did not conclude inviting me to attack. You're very welcome to attack me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, again, I will have to object because all what you are saying is mindfulness. Uh, all what you are saying is your awareness. Simply the appreciation is not there. So therefore the word you use, not graspable, um, was nullified by your statements you made. You know everything happening. Right. May it be physical or may it be uh, mental. Your awareness is that you very precisely express what is happening. So that's the awareness. But that awareness is not appreciated because as you say, the mind is giving thousands of suggestions, thousands of advices. I mean, the thousand will be very, um, very uh, optimistic. 
um, uh, it, it, they will have so many, so many suggestions. Why? Now, only thing we you are doing now, it's actually happening, whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not. Only thing what you are doing is you are trying as much as possible not to do anything but to observe. Right. So because of that, uh, this awareness is heightened. And uh, <clears throat> but uh, because of this current layer in which you are in, which we call um, which we call in English mental volitions, in in mental process, uh, in our in our uh, physical and when you take physical and mental process. In mental process, there are four layers. One is the feeling layer, and the other is the perception layer, and the other is the mental volition layer, or the intentional layer, and the other is uh, the consciousness layer. So in the volitional layer, what we do is we, try, we are given more and more and more and more and more choices and uh, push you to pick one. That happens because you have trained your mind not to pick things but just to observe in your physical layer in your in your feeling layer in your perception layer so you have passed all those exams so you have come to the next year there you have mental volition or intentional layer and there you very clearly see so much of intentions are there so much of girls are coming and trying to take your attention if possible you not to give your hand to anybody, not to give your will to anybody. Just keep observing them as well. One by one, all of them will gradually shut their doors down. So, um, therefore, uh, you you have uh, you have already grasped uh, the deeper layer of uh, observation, deeper layer of mindfulness. But that liking and disliking element is still there. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake because we all are human beings. That is where we have been. And now we have the ability to see these things very clearly. That is, that is beyond humanity. So you are beyond humanity, but you still want to be a human. I'm trying to make you an inhuman as possible. <laughs> so, well... Uh, that's great. And, you know, um, before, before I started to meditate, then I thought, oh, you know, I, I love chocolate cake and, you know, I really love sex and I love flowers and nature and the world and different kinds of cooking. And now that I've started meditation, it's even stronger. So now I just go crazy for a chocolate cake. Like, and it's the same with all uh, sensual aspects in my life. I just feel mm. so incredibly aware, actually, of everything. And so I'm just thinking like, wow, what is this? And it's like, I feel much more awake. So everything seems so incredibly exciting. Like I, I remember before I started meditating, sometimes, I used to feel bored and I never ever feel bored now. Yes. So <clears throat> the comment for that is since your awareness increases, uh, you go to nitty gritty of sensual pleasure as well. So you enjoy all your food more, all your interactions with the opposite sex more. So it was there earlier, but um, you were more towards the pleasure than, uh, than um, enjoying it. You are greedy. But now yeah, you can. Really now, true. Yeah, now um, you observe your greediness. So when you observe your greediness, you get the real taste of it. Right, so that is because, simply because your sensitivity is so high. And what one thing that we will have to do is we should not stop there. When your sensitivity is high, just remind yourself that I'm 
so much towards a chocolate cake or a cheesecake, whatever. So much <laughs> towards the opposite sex. So my mind is um, so much involved in it. Just accept it. If you don't accept that little bit element of ignorance will be there and that try to take up a hand and that is why you observe more liking towards uh, joy and peaceful situation and don't give a damn about um, changing on it because anything in the any experience that you will have anything good or bad spiritual or otherwise nothing is permanent so you have a very good opportunity when you don't practice to see that wave so when you see that wave uh, simply you will have to ride the wave oh. and if you ride that the wave will not be able to topple you mm, that's very interesting it's a very very good metaphor thank you it's not mine it's buddha's it's fantastic mm. thank you thank you thank you also Thank you very much for the contribution and the question. Anything else? Anybody else? If you bring out a question like that, then we can relay. Otherwise, I will just dump garbage. All right. So, Chatu, uh, do you uh, suggest to go ahead with... Uh, uh, rest of mindfulness or uh, four foundations of mindfulness or might be a little bit late today. It's nine o'clock. Yeah, you it might already. be better to do it yes. next. Yeah, next time. That way we have a uh, we can get through probably finish it. No problem. So uh, so we will then um, do the next bit of uh, mindfulness summary. But again, after that, I'll be going overseas. So we will have to see timing and see whether it suits. Uh, okay, so thank you everyone for joining. And um, um, apologies for the delay I had. And we can, you know, to conclude the session, we can start chanting. So I will hand over the mic to Chatur.